Hey everybody. Here I am, hope you're around. Share this video with any, okay, I'm gonna share now, right? Okay, here's my paper white that uh, I think he's done for the year. There's Cecilia. I see somebody's watching. If you're watching, please tell me where you're watching from. Hey everybody, Michelle's helping me here and um, we're trying a new setup today. So just be patient with me here for a minute. Um, all right. Hi Paula, thanks for watching. Thanks for jumping on you guys. I know it's always, everybody's busy these days. Um, here you can see outside so i moved um to a little different setup instead of being back in our studio space um i'm in my office which has a wonderful window out to the beautiful snow that's falling in kansas city and um if it's if it's snowing where you are let me know where you're um watching from and if you have a pretty snow to look out your window to too um, and I've got today again, I have Michelle helping me and, uh, thanks so much, Michelle. <laughs> she'll, she'll help me with, um, you know, questions and things because right now the way I'm looking, I'm on my phone this time and I can't see your comments. Um, before last couple weeks ago or back in December when I did my live event, I was using a computer with a webcam. Uh, so this is a new approach for us and um, hopefully it'll all work the way we want to. And if you do have a question or a comment and I can't answer it live today, um, I'll go back and look at those. Um, whether you're watching it live right now or you are watching it in the replay mode when it posts after the live event. So all the live events with the Facebook, they automatically post back into the group when I'm finished. Um, so you'll be able to either, if you wanna share it with anybody, you can do that. Or if you wanna you know, go back and watch something, uh, if you have to leave, you can come back and watch it. So let's see, we're gonna talk about um, sweaters and upcycling today. We're gonna to talk a little bit about the Vintage Notions chapter, January and some of the there's a great um, soup recipe I'm going to tell you about that I'm sharing. So uh, if you're out there, give me a, a wave, uh, a like. Let me know you're out there and who's out there watching. Um, Michelle, are we? should we get started? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. So I have um, traveled a little over New Year's and I was up in Michigan. I... We had a beautiful snowstorm or snow like we have here today and I wanted to let you know I put up a new blog post about that trip and in that blog post I shared some fun ideas for actually making a snowman. Uh, we were traveling uh, through a little town which is called Alden and I came upon a snowman who had, or snow woman, let me say, um, she had on a pink tutu. She had giant eyelashes. Um, what else? Uh, beautiful buttons with pom poms and also a pickle for her nose. So if you want to check out that snowman and need some inspiration for one you're going to make in the next few days, since I think a lot of us might be in, um, have snow outside right now, looking at the weather channel, uh, check out that blog post. So you go to amybarrickman.com and you'll be able to see, um, go just to the blog link. And, and that post is second that I recently, this morning, I put up another blog post too. So there are two new posts since we last um, were together. And so when I saw that snowman, we then went home and were inspired to make our own snowman. And as we were, my husband and my daughter uh, were making it. Our son stayed back here in Kansas City. 
So they really did the bulk of the work of building the snowman. But at the end, I realized that we had some really cool um, upcycled wool mittens used um, that were created from different pieces of felted wool. So for when, when wool is felted, that means you're gonna wash it and dry it and um, tighten it up, tighten up the weave and turn it into a felt. So you can you know, cleanly cut the edges. Uh, so if you want to see some mitten style, upcycled sweater um, mittens, um, go to the blog and check that out. So then we went to Traverse City. And when we were in Traverse City, we visited my favorite store, which is Callie's Cottons, um, down there on uh, Front Street. And when I was at Callie's, I found these fabulous um, upcycled cashmere sweater mittens. How does everybody like those? If you think those are fun, let me know. Um, so th this style is the fingerless glove type style um, or fingerless mitten style. And you can see what drew me to this, um, this pair was number one, the heathered uh, cable knit cashmere so I liked the the way this was kind of had a speckly um, tone to it and then you know there's just this charming little applique of a flower and kind of a burnt orange so and not to mention these are super soft and I love the ability to you know to be um, I'll put on the other one so I can model the whole outfit um the ability to have your fingers free for of course using your phone most likely is or dialing um if you're driving it's nice to have your fingers free so anyway i thought well i'll just and i believe the name of the company that made these i think it was called sardine maybe clothing company i couldn't find the tag before i jumped on um so Shout out to Sardine for what a cute, fun way to upcycle, recycle, repurpose. Um, and of course, Mary Brooks Pickin, you know, I go back to the connection to the January chapter. And in the January chapter, Mary talks about do-overs and how um, do-overs are not, um, do-overs are allowed and they are actually our chance to um you know there's nothing wrong with them uh, you don't have to get things right the first time and um and your happiness is not dependent on perfection it's try try again and learning from those experiences and then she relates that theme to actually making over, remodeling, um, reinventing, repurposing clothing fabric from cast off garments. So clothing that maybe is damaged or um, worn out in certain places, there might still be beautiful fabric that you could use to create something um, new and modern and completely reinvent whether it be an old suit that's made of a gorgeous wool or whether it be a silk tie that you deconstruct and make into a flower. Um, you know that we've always focused on um, upcycling and recycling with when we were doing Indigo Junction patterns, um, when I worked developing those. So, in that chapter there, oh, and I wanted to show you one, a book that I had that was really fun when I'm thinking about this kind of theme. Um, this is called Make and Mend. And this, I loved looking at the, uh, the cover here of, and it's Make and Mend for Victory. So Mending and Darning. So this was, I thought particularly, there you can see um, the little suit the woman in a suit, um, potentially cutting it apart and making it over into a, a new, brand new design. So 
in the chapter, the January chapter, the magic pattern is a pattern for taking a man's dress shirt and making it into an apron. So that is another upcycling um, garment that we many times have used to make some really fun new things out of something, you know, what's old is new again. So if you have the Vintage Notions book, you know, make sure you take a look at the January chapter, read the essay about upcycling and recycling. It's again, so timeless, um, especially today, maybe when you don't want to go out shopping um, for fabric. Why not go to the back of your closet, open your drawers, um, find something that you can, you know, remake and repurpose. So I'm going to also talk about um, my sweater. I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but it is, um, it's actually a combination of, of, of wool. This is a recycled wool. And then my collar, which is this cable um, knit, is cashmere. So it's really soft um, around my neck, which I love. And this has been surged and upcycled. This, the, this sweater I bought at the Country Living Fair, gosh, probably, I don't know, 10, around 10 years ago, eight or 10 years ago. Um, and the company was Forget Me Not. Um, and if you watched my uh, live I did back with the Santas, um, where I shared some of my vintage Santa collection, I was wearing a green version of a sweater that is again upcycled like this. So, um, and there's Georgie. Hi, Georgie. I see your name. I can see names, but I can't see the question. So thanks for watching and tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, everybody else out there, really, thank you for being here. And um, hopefully I'll inspire you with some ideas for sweaters. So we'll continue on and I'll show you another version of um, an upcycled sweater. Now this one, of course, I had to share it because what do you see but a mother of pearl buckle um, isn't that a gorgeous buckle? And I love the red on red. And another reason I got this one out first and foremost, as I'm trying to figure out how this, uh, this looks on the, um, screen here, uh, it's, uh, we're in Kansas city and it's red Friday. So what's red Friday. So our chiefs are playing, um, against the Browns on Sunday at, Michelle, do you know what time the game is? I do not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I think it's at two o'clock. So I thought, really, I should be wearing my red sweater today, but I'll tell you the story. Unfortunately, again, I told you it's it's a little older. Um, it's, um, I have a couple holes, moth holes in this one. So I'm going to try to figure out how to mend it. So I didn't, I didn't wear that one today. So I wore the pretty um, aqua turquoise. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing those sweaters. And I love what um, uh, Forget Me Not did with adding um, these vintage buckles or vintage jewelry. So every one of these sweaters I have has a unique um, jewelry piece to go along with it. And I will show you too, I thought this was interesting when I was talking about cable knit on the, the uh, mittens over there. Um, this is a cable knit too, cashmere that she, she used to upcycle um, with the wool. So I also thought, well, do I have any snowmen that are made with upcycled fabric that that might be fun to share with you guys too. Um, trying to keep all in the same theme here. Um, so I did find this, this guy, um, and his, this is a m much more primitive piece that I, I probably got this guy. We're talking 20 years ago, maybe. And, um, I loved him. I might've gotten him from the folk art show in Valley Forge. Um, 
I just think he's uh, pretty clever and creative. So he has, I'm gonna, t now you can see where his little birdhouse was, or birdhouse was, but he has his own long johns made of, a, like this is, this is probably a knit, um, it just might be, it's a cotton knit. So, and the reason I think it really was maybe a sweater is because you can see the ribbing right here that they made for the bra, the little um, long john drop seat, I think they called it. Um, and that's like, you know, the ribbing. And then he has these cute like wire legs that have been wrapped. He has his own skis. Um, I like his, his face with the, just the simplest uh, design, just a cross for his eyes, little wooden nose. So I thought you guys would all enjoy seeing him. And I do not, unfortunately, I do not know who the artist was. Um, he's kind of like a scarecrow snowman with his um, little sticks coming out. So that's, um, that's my snowman uh, for the day. But, and speaking of the ribbing, so I showed you that ribbing. So I happened to find another, now this is a really quick and easy project that really anybody could make with maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, this is using the ribbing from a cashmere sweater and it's merely um, looping it into a cuff. And you can see, once again, what do we have there? Who knows what that is? Yep, mother of pearl buttons right here, the big one underneath, and they're stacked, which is kind of a fun, you know, idea too. So it's a, a band of the cashmere sweater, and then there's like a, a little um, circle of wool, and then on top of that circle are a couple of buttons. So again, if your sweaters are damaged or, you know, have moth holes, don't throw them away. We can make something with them. Um, and speaking of recycling, so coming up next week, I, Michelle's here partly too because we're doing some filming of a class for you guys. And this class is, it's really three video lessons that I'm putting together. And um, this group, you guys who've committed to the, being part of this little Facebook group, I'm telling you guys about it first. I wanna make sure that everybody gets a chance to sign up for my newsletter online at amyberrickman.com because that's where I'll be emailing people to update them about this um, little mini workshop class that we're doing. And just to, um, you know, get you thinking ahead and anticipating it, um, what we're gonna be working with First of all is, we're, of course, we're gonna be focused on mother of pearl buttons, so we're gonna be doing something fun with buttons. Um, and then we're also going to be upcycling a t-shirt uh, into something super practical and timely, I will say. So something that you could use really uh, every day. It's kind of an everyday, easy to make project that would also make a great gift for family and friends. We'll talk about customizing it for like, like, you know, I said the chiefs. And so, in fact, my mom, Donna, I hope is working on the chiefs version of the project. So if you have a team you like, you might be able to make something um, to show your team spirit using what we're gonna be making in this workshop. So um, just keep in mind, remember, it's the best thing to do to stay connected on information, sign up for my newsletter over there on amyberrickman.com. And then uh, I wanted to t also tell you that in the blog post, this new year blog post that I just um, put up this morning is, um, it's kind of like a book club post that um, I did. It's actually a post that um, was like back from 2013. Um, so I reposted it this morning and, um, updated it a little and I want, what I was so excited about when I, um, referred to it, back to it, I was like, it had a printable in it for a recipe for soup. So this printable, if you guys can see it, it's kind of cute little design. I'm thinking, um, Delcy or Aaron helped me design this 
and we used graphics. Um, so we created the graphic of the recipe card and then we put the type the recipe in for you guys um so it's noah's clam chowder and this is a great recipe if you're especially because it's kind of cold out and it's a perfect time to make soup um so this recipe is i grew up in des moines iowa i don't know some of you may know that um and that was a restaurant in des moines that had um it was a wonderful restaurant anyway this is the kind of knockoff um recipe for um soup and um so i see some people out there watching there's heather hello heather thanks for joining the live event today thanks to all of you for being here i'm not sure how many people are watching i got michelle over there keeping me posted on things um and how are we doing michelle is everything yeah, everything's good yeah. good 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 so let's see. I think how what how are we doing on time? It's 120. 120. Okay. Well, I think that I have one more thing to show you today and I'm learning like I said again about um this new setup. So, thanks for your patience. Just realizing um that I wanted I had on my desk over here to share um the Vintage Notions Monthly Magazine. I wanted to show you the January issues we have for that. So this, and partly what I, I wanna show you, mainly because I just love the um, graphics on these these two um, covers. So I'm gonna show you the covers. Uh, here we have, um, especially since it's snowing outside too, so check out these fa vintage fashions um, of, so these were part of the Women's Institute artwork. Um, when I created these, um, the series of magazines, so I did 24 of them, I would go back and find some of my favorite artwork on the Women's Institute publications, Inspiration and Fab Fashion Service. And um, so you can see the, um, I love the scarf, the earmuffs, look at the trim on that, on the blue ensemble so i wanted to just inspire you with some fashion today some vintage fashion thanks to the women's institute and um these issues are available on amy berkman um and then we also that you can buy them as pdfs but you can also order them through amazon and get them in this printed format so this is what they look like they're kind of fun and um essentially it's content uh, it's my chance to carry on sharing more of the Women's Institute content with you um, and lots of fashion um, information as well as um, testimonials from students. There's usually a cookery, the Department of Cookery section, so a lot of variety. And then this is another issue and you can see again, look at that great sweater. Um, and hat, the beret, really fun fashion there from the Women's Institute. So I hope you'll put your, <clears throat> and there's Glenda. Hi, Glenda. Thanks for joining. So if you want to get on your winter coat and your winter fashion, I hope I've given you some ideas, or maybe you want to try your hand at making some upcycled sweater projects. So stay tuned. Um, and I'd love for you in the comments to tell me of what I shared today. What is your favorite um, project that you've seen? Maybe you'd like me to go deeper into um, sharing more of whether it be um, the artist who made some of these projects or techniques that um, I can share to help you create and sew and make um, the handmade um, inspiration that I share with you in these lives of live events. So this is my way to gauge what you're interested in and what you might want more of. Um, and then I'll be able to better um, deliver to you guys. So thanks again for watching. And again, if um, 
you have a chance to share this with friends of yours that maybe have the same love of vintage that you do, I would wholeheartedly appreciate any types of shares. You can invite your friends to the group. You can actually um, click on their name and, and, and literally bring them in the group yourself. So keep that in mind. Um, and again, I have that upcoming um, workshop, mini workshop, three lessons that are gonna be coming in video format that we're filming, um, we're finishing up today. So please, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, head over to amybarrickman.com and sign up. And I hope you all enjoy the beautiful snow if you have it in your area or if you have the beautiful sunshine. Um, I'm a little jealous, uh, but enjoy your weekend. And I hope, you know, if you're going to be cheering for the Chiefs, let me know. Uh, I will appreciate it. Take care. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.